says the same thing. It's the cars, the planes, the industrial plants. It's because we leave our lights on and take long showers. Always the same familiar answers. And, well, yes, of course it's true. But no one has yet won the grand prize. Because we're forgetting one extremely important factor. 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions are caused by livestock farming. That might surprise you. Farmed animals, 18%. And guess what percentage of total global emissions are caused by transport? 13%. Just think. All the cars, tractors, trucks, ships and planes in the world added together emit fewer greenhouse gases than livestock farming. Oh, really? Wow, I thought it was mostly cars. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Livestock. That's crazy. So more than the cars. Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's insane. No, I did not know that. No. Uh, that's news to me. I've never heard that. I've never heard the livestock connection, though. No. Well, I knew there was some. I had no idea it was that extensive. How does it come from livestock, exactly? What do you call cow farts? <laughs> What do you call that? Okay. Yeah, the methane gas coming from the cows. Yeah. It's cow shit, right? Doesn't cow poop? It's the, what the emissions, right? I thought it was just fat people in the south here in America, but no, apparently it's cattle as well. It's quite worrying. <laughs> okay. Well, I saw an article that say uh, because the cow, what, they fast? Mm -hmm. And then actually the fasting make the global warming. <laughs> That's <part of> the <laughs> yeah. okay. But how, how can it be that farm animals plays a heavier burden on the environment than the entire transport sector worldwide? Well, actually, it's rather simple. Once upon a time, a farmer was someone who owned land and some animals. Nice and quiet around here! If there was more land, then he bought some more pigs, a few chickens, and some cows. Well, that's a fine kettle of fish. You know what? All that grubbing around outside takes far too long. We're going to fatten you up and fast. It's not a fairy tale storybook. You're there to be eaten. Oh, uh, not sure that's such a compliment, really. We'll squeeze you all together nice and efficiently, and you'll all get sick right away. You're telling me. Listen, Piggy, I'm not interested in your personal vision right now. In the Netherlands alone, you lot produce 70 billion kilos of dung. Do you know how bad that is for the environment and the climate? Uh, sorry for a living. Did you know that cows of all farm animals are the largest producers of greenhouse gases, mostly through all that belching and farting? Do you know what the problem is? You're eating us out of house and home. Who was just so pleased about fattening us up? But all that food has to come from somewhere, doesn't it? So, we destroy the rainforests and plant soya crops instead. But the rainforests are really important for the absorption of carbon dioxide. And then we spray the stuff with pesticides and we ship the soya off to Europe where it ends up in your feeding troughs. So well organized. What are you people up to? Hello? Hello? Well, that's not our fault. Who actually wants to eat meat anyway? The consumer, okay? Is there something wrong with that? Well, that's a good question. Who actually eats so much meat? Eating meat is a luxury that we've got all rather too used to. Don't dare touch our steaks. Keep your hands off our barbecues. But once it becomes clear that all this meat is making a major contribution to the destruction of our Earth. Shouldn't we think again? <laughs>